had to definitely come and, and check you out and yeah. see you and all that. But yeah. you got a reputation for being crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you and I, the whole I, entrance. Oh, he listen, walked in and he gave it. He gave listen, it to us. And I just mean nobody fucked with Tretch in Jersey, period, point blank. Um, is it true, you know, the rumors that I heard that you used to walk around with a machete at any given time? Yeah, yeah. Or all I mean, the time? It was, it was, yo, the game was like, look, Jersey's so ignorant for one. We had to mm. fight with Jersey. Right. Like, we yeah. going to anywhere else. And we got to, every time you went in, niggas look at you in the 90s like all oh, artists like, you see these niggas really tough. Right. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So we tell all the new artists, yo, we had to fight through every fucking town. That's a fact. You understand mm. what I'm saying? So it's like it's what you had to be. And uh, it, we just had fun. They thought we, like, changed the style because we had the dicky suits and the braids and everything else and all that. Man, we was just fucking dirty. That's all. Right. <laughs> we, yo, we took the fades and braided them. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Timbo boots. And it was like this was this is our feeling. The label wanted us to put out something else. You know, the era was hot tops and everybody was fresh. And we like, man, we got to do something how we feel on how to do it. So they said, let me come to Jersey and see what happened. Ain't nobody, everybody thought Jersey was like Bergenfield. Right, the rink. Right. Like mm-hmm. it was all grass and nice houses. Mm-hmm. So we took them down to Newark to the projects. Right. That was abandoned. Exactly. Yeah. They said, what <laughs> the fuck? You know what I mean? So. We just put our own flavor up in their own thing. Like I said, in the 90s, you had to look sound different or you you couldn't make it. Um.